President Trump won the election by a landslide, huge landslide, and it was stolen. We'll never stop fighting. And Trump will be our president for the next four years, no matter who they inaugurate. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. We're going to walk down anyone you want, but I think right here we're going to walk down to the Capitol And we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. The world watched in shock and horror as a mob of Donald Trump supporters, encouraged by the U.S. president, stormed the U.S. Capitol in a bid to thwart lawmakers from their constitutional duty of certifying Democrat Joe Biden's victory. The angry mob ransacked both the House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate, and also occupied Nancy Pelosi's office, the Speaker of the House on Wednesday 7 January to lay siege the seat of democracy and American symbol of power. America's democracy is under attack, decried Joe Biden while Pelosi has called on the Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment to declare Trump as unfit for the office of President. Democrats on the other hand move to impeach the President for the second time unless Trump resigns ahead of Biden's inauguration. In a recorded message Trump has seemingly conceded and said that he'll work on a smooth transition to the next administration. But however, his supporters are still radicalized and think they want Trump to be the president. Many Republican senators and congressmen have distanced themselves from both this event and Trump and this move is seen as an attempt to deflect blame and the shame of desecrating the American political symbols and power. At this hour, our democracy is under unprecedented assault, unlike anything we've seen in modern times. I know your pain, I know your hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election, and everyone knows it, especially the other side. An assault on the Citadel of Liberty, the Capitol itself. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. Today was a dark day in the history of the United States Capitol. But thanks to the swift efforts of U.S. Capitol Police, federal, state, and local law enforcement, the violence was quelled. Today, a shameful assault was made on our democracy. It cannot, however, deter us from our responsibility to validate the election of Joe Biden and Colonel Hart. The report we make is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots 
that have been given to us. The future of American democracy is under siege. Can Biden and Harris overcome this mayhem and set the course right for America?